So I've put some slits, I've put some oil on the lamb, I've put some slits in here and put some garlic in there. Um, remember to take the green bit out of the centre of the garlic because otherwise it's bitter. And now I'm just going to pop some rosemary in with the garlic and uh, it will be ready to put in the slow cooker. Okay, so now I've got the rosemary in with the garlic. I've used some oil just to put over the skin. I always love to use um, rapeseed oil. Um, it's just as healthy as olive oil, but it doesn't um, discolour and go off if you heat it up to a high temperature. So rapeseed oil is generally uh, my go-to. And I like um, to use the pink Himalayan salt um, and obviously some lovely black pepper. So I'm going to put salt and pepper over the top of my lamb and then ready to put in the slow cooker. Okay, right, so we've got our lamb in the hot pot and in it um, I've got some carrots, red onion and celery and I've got some mixed herbs, um, vegetable stock and lots of red wine. So um, that's going to be the base for a beautiful red wine gravy to go with the lamb. Don't want to cover the lamb. We want to just have the liquid um, halfway up because I don't want to wash off all this um, seasoning and flavour. I want that to stay and penetrate into the lamb to give, that, give it that lovely rich flavour. So there we go. We're going to pop the lid on that. I've got it on the low setting and I'm going to leave it for about five and a half hours. Wow if you could only smell this. So I've done 15 minutes in the hot oven just to brown this lamb up and um, to make it look delicious and add to a bit of flavour. I decanted some of the juice and I thickened it up. Um, you can use some gravy granules or um, corn flour, whichever you like. I like a quite a nice thick gravy over the lamb. I've put some of the onions and vegetables, um, carrots and celery into my gravy as well because there's no um, waste at all. And then um, I am just going to serve with a bit of fresh green broccoli. There we go, can't wait. <laughs>